So I'm back at my apartment and that can only mean one thing. Today did not go as planned out on the water. This unboxing is long overdue. I actually made this order, I believe like three weeks ago. And it seems like you guys kind of like these unboxing videos because they are kind of more popular than my normal just fishing videos. So since you guys seem to be into it, I figured I would definitely show you guys what I got in this box from the Hookup Tackle. I was able to pick up some limited edition and some rare colors at the Hookup Tackle. Now being that the water temps are still 50 degrees in New Hampshire where I live, lures I picked up from the Hookup Tackle are still completely relevant right now. I'm actually going to unbox one of these baits and use it tomorrow morning when I go out fishing. It's not a big box by any means, it's actually kind of small. Starting off is the Mega Bass Prop Darter 80. Now this is the limited edition color I was talking about. The color is called Cuba Libra. Every month, Mega Bass comes out with a Respect series lineup, and that just basically means they have a limited edition color that comes out every month. And at the very, and at the tail end of April, they came out with this color here, Cuba Libra. Now, I'm not going to be taking this out of the box, um, just because I like collecting lures. I'm actually not going to be throwing this. It's just going to go up on the wall with my other limited edition lures. But if you guys are interested in the Mega Bass Prop Darter 80, the 80 just stands for 80 millimeters long. And 80 millimeters is about 3 inches, so not the biggest bait in the world. And it comes with this prop on the back, which is going to give off... A little bit of flash, a little bit of vibration, a little bit of noise. And it comes with this bill on the front of it as well. Which is going to get this bait down to about 4 feet, just depending on what line you use. And the original idea behind the color Cuba Libra was Megabass wanted a truly black lure. Now they do have a color called SS Deadly Black Shad, but that's not necessarily truly black and fans and customers of Mega Bass really wanted a truly black jerkbait for those really dark and dirty conditions. That's where the color actually originated. It's kind of based off deadly black shad. And this bait is also a quarter of an ounce. I don't know if I said that or not. Let me show you guys my other limited edition lures real quick. These are all my other limited edition lures and there's a pattern going on here. They're all the Pop X. And that's just because the Pop X is typically the least popular lure of the limited edition series. And since I collect them, I really don't care what lure I get. I just want the color. Fortunately, I went to their website an hour after they dropped this color. And the only lure they had was the Prop Darter 80. They didn't have any of the Pop Xs left. Now moving on to the rare colors I bought from the Hookup Tackle. Now when I say rare, I don't really mean Mega Bass doesn't make this color very often. I just mean these colors are super popular and just super hard to find. They're just out of stock everywhere. Actually, when I managed to find these colors here, the same website went out of stock less than an hour later. And on top of that, you just can't find a Vision 110 Plus One Junior basically anywhere. All the good colors are out of stock 90% of the time. But I mean, it is spring, it's jerkbait season. But I mean, for good reason. Look at the color on it. Because these lures are always out of stock, I had to pick up two of them. But this color is called GLX Northern Secret. And this is the bait I'm going to be using tomorrow. So, uh... Let me just take it out of the package and show you guys. Has like a very faint lime chartreuse belly. Translucent purple back, blue head. This is going to be perfect for relatively dirty water. Good for clear water. I bought this junior size for smallmouth specifically. The bottom lure here is a regular Vision 110 not a junior and you guys can see the length difference not a huge difference but definitely the vision 110 is a little bit bigger so i'll stick with the vision 110 for large mouth but for small mouth 
I'll use these junior sizes and good luck finding these. They're like out of stock everywhere out of the good colors. Now I don't know if my camera, oh yeah, my camera's picking that up. There's two tungsten ball bearings inside the bait right there. And that is the weight transfer system. So even though this bait is a bit smaller than the Vision 110, it can cast just as far with this weight transfer system in it. Unlike other baits of similar size, they don't have that weight transfer system like this Mega Bass does. So you'll be able to cast this Mega Bass Vision 110 up probably like three to five yards further than you would other jerk baits, which doesn't really seem like a big deal. But when you're fishing super clear water and the bass can see you from 60 feet away, my unprofessional opinion, having that like three to five extra yards on the cast could be the difference between landing a fish and not landing a fish. That being said, that's kind of like a niche circumstance. If the water has any sort of stains, that extra distance really isn't going to be too helpful. Now I'm sure you guys noticed me saying plus one. All that means is there's going to be a bigger bill and it's going to dive slightly deeper. Mega Bass has a Vision 110, Vision 110 plus one, and then Vision 110 plus two. And all the plus one and plus two means is that it will dive slightly deeper. This lure here will dive about seven feet depending on what line you use. The lighter line, the deeper it'll dive. The cool thing about these Mega Bass Vision 110s too is that even though they downsize the bait, which can mess with the action of a lot of baits, it still keeps that super erratic darting action underneath the water even though it has the small profile. Companies, when they downsize their baits, the action also kind of downsizes, if you will. Not these Mega Bass Vision 110 Juniors still keep that really nice darting action underneath the water. So the next rare color I got is GLX Spawn Cherry. <coughs> which I'm not going to take out of the package right now. Maybe not, but... Alright, you know what? I'm just going to take it out of the package. I don't know why I bother. Look at that color. That's going to be a super nice clear water bait. I bet you could even use this in a little bit of stained water too and it'll work perfectly fine. But again, this is also a Vision 110 Junior plus one. You can tell by that slightly larger bill. And I also ordered two of these. But I gave one to my buddy. But when my buddy saw this color, you should have seen his face light up. So I just gave it to him. That is it for the lures I picked up from the Hookup Tackle. And if you guys are interested in the Hookup Tackle, I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. In my opinion, if you're just interested in the JDM market, the Hookup Tackle over in Arizona is a really nice spot to get some JDM products. Now I'm going to go over the line I use real quick for my jerk baits. Now the smallest pound test I'll use is 8. And I use the Super FC Sniper from Sunline kind of on the expensive side but I've had zero issues with this it has the lowest memory out of any line I've ever used and it's also the softest out of any line I've ever used but eight pound is the lowest I'll go just because any lower than that and I risk being snapped off if the fish goes up against a rock or something like that and not to mention in my area I have a ton of chain pickerel basically just mini versions of pike and they'll bite me off at any moment I definitely won't go any lower than eight pound eight pound actually is what I only use for really clear water conditions the opposite spectrum of that I also have Sunline Super FC Sniper, but 14 pound line. 14 pound line most of the time is the highest I'll go. I do make some exceptions. Go all the way up to 20 pound line. For the most part, I'll stick right around that 14 pound line. 15 is no problem, 13 is no problem. But just something to remember with that higher pound test, your bait is gonna be higher up in the water column. So when I said this bait, went all the way down to seven feet. 
That's like with eight to 10 pound line. If I was gonna use 20 pound line, it's not gonna get down to seven feet. It might get down to like five feet. But in my opinion, super excited to use this tomorrow morning. I think it's gonna work great for the small mouth I'm gonna be fishing for. That is it for today's unboxing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I come out with videos every week. I really do appreciate it. Peace.